Welcome again to the second part of this interesting creation. Um, I don't really know what to call it. Uh -huh. You guys can call it whatever you want. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's a guy in a biohazard suit. I might actually call it that in the end. Guy in the biohazard suit tutorial. Well, I'll be daggum. I didn't know it was. Oh. Ugh. All right. Well, go ahead. We're gonna get another. We need some more shape shapes in there, just so it works better. There we go. We have to make this one purple. Like yeah, this we're gonna duplicate the hue layer, hue saturation layer, and then we clip the mask. Since it looks a little out of place, we're gonna shift it around so it looks good. Uh. I kind of like that, but it just kind of feels cluttery. Clutter! You know, you want to try to avoid clutter when you do things like this. Especially something new and experimental. Oh, I, I got a good idea. I just thought of something. Alright, I just thought of something. It's, it's a random idea, but we're going to try it. It's something you can do sometimes if you feel like you need to spice it up. Take the shape tool. I generally use a circle and close it. We're gonna control A, edit, copy merged, or paste, right click, create clipping mask. Now, let's see what I did. Blam! What I plan to do is like move this over here. I like a little bit behind him and move it under. Subvertly hide it. Edit, transform, as horizontal. There we go. Da -da -da -da. He's got angel wings. Purple angel wings. Oh. Alright, we are going to get rid of that little annoyance there. And, uh, anyways, um, I kind of like how that looks, personally. This, this is me, though. Anyways, um... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go up. Up, 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 up. And, um... I, okay, I, I'll admit, I really actually do like that. Alright, we're gonna open the new photo... Uh, Illy, and we're gonna hope it's the shape we like. And... Not really. It's not one that works well for this, because the, the colors are set because of the background. Because of the color scheme used in the background. Can't try to deviate and you know what I mean. You can't really go against what the background says when you do it this way. It, you just can't. It's like anarchy. I say do it this way. No! I should not do it because you said so. And it's basically how it goes. Uh go T. Yeah, that's a uh, shift control T is just a quick command saying do this real fast for me, buddy. It's just redoing a flip that I did. Mm, we're just gonna like pour the same with illustrator shapes. It's not something you know to do, you know. I didn't feel like making my own, so I just you know. Use some prepackaged ones. Um, let's see. Transform. Transform. Transform it! No, um, layer, new adjustment layer. Hue saturation layer. Uh, let's see. Change to hue, it's like, I'm gonna get some purple going on. Purple action, less than a little gray purple. Let's go back to that gray purple. Increase saturation. It's crazy. Trying to get a purple out of that. It's like, oh, disco party, disco party, disco, disco. Right. You met the Zohan. Get him. Uh, I don't have to work with that. Uh, clipping mask. 
Oh, that actually works. I didn't think that was gonna work well. All right, I'm gonna move it behind the brother. Moving around just a little bit. Help disguise a few things. Oh crap. <sighs> We're gonna go back a few steps. There we go. Alright, remove him back under here. New layer, new adjustment layer, heat saturation layer. And we're gonna turn it all pinkish. Peachy color. Oh, that's just daggone peachy. Alright, so move this layer over just a little bit. Alright. Well you see anything over here? We're gonna just murder that with the murder racer. See? You just murder race. Murder race! Murder! Alright. Well, see that's just, it, it feels good. It's got all that, ugh. That's that illustrator shape thing going on with a very textural background. I wonder what's like sexy background because it just makes no sense. I mean, it's pretty appealing. I like the texture in the background, but it's very, it has a lot of texture in it. Texture, yeah. Uh, it's it's over. It, it's a lot of texture, you know. It works. And then we got lighting coming off from here. Now I didn't know this until now, but there's background lighting that comes over here that works out. It's coming from behind him. It's like, well, bam. All right, we got to get it. We'll take in the 3D. Take care of the 3D elements later. It's not now. Anyways, um, visuals. Uh, we need a few more shapes because, you know, I just feel like it's undone. Open number eight. That is just, oh, squiggle lines? Oh, man, I want some of that. We are going to get some of that. Squiggles, dude. Squiggles. I mean, this, all that? I don't know. I don't know you put squiggles in this. Squiggle, 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 squiggles. Uh, I want to try to make these squiggles work. I mean, they're pretty cool. Probably just scri uh, scribbled. The murder racer and boop. All right, there we go. I blended a little bit, blend, blend a little bit. All right, because we feel I feel like this is lacking a little bit of 3D quality. Um, once again, you can go to DeviantArt to find a crazy amount of resources. All right, but uh, pull up some C4Ds, bubble C4D pack. We are gonna use uh. Yeah, this one. Throw, throw it in there. Set it to linear. Not color dodge, linear dodge. That just looks dirty. We are not going to do that. Just looks bad. Michael no like. The bio renders by CLYZM or Slizem or whatever you want to call them are pretty awesome. Take these, be like, ram. Go this one, like, right here. Uh, take out the murder racer. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. And we're gonna move, erase some of that. We're gonna take the murder racer and be like, eh. Right. It just feels clashy, so we're gonna go control A, shift a little bit, take those specific pixels, and Flip them. Horizontal. Just move in this specific part of the C4D. Throw it in there. And shablam. Took a specific part and moved it. It looks pretty awesome, right? 
It's like, whoa, it envelops. This is a focus. You know, that was an accent fail, but, you know, anyone want to correct me on the accent fail, you feel free to. It's been a while since I've done any, done, I've done any accents, because I don't take French class anymore. Purple, 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 nurple. <laughs> yeah. Clipping mask. I actually really like that, but I have to change some of the heat and saturation. Yes, hello, kitty. Alright, um, ow, got some sharp nails, um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, yes, it's my sister's cat bothering me, oh, alright, in front of the computer screen, alright, so, yeah, let's throw that in there, it's like, bam, Alright, just so wanna throw another one in there. Well, same thing, but we're gonna help exemplify its 3D elements. And take the murder racer and be like, bee, bee, dee, dee, dee. yeah, I'm singing We Are the Champions. And I actually kinda like that this sum, this sum right over here, so I'm not gonna get rid of it, because it really helps out. And um, we're gonna duplicate this one. Uh, duplicate layer. Okay. Now we're gonna remove that clipping mask, put it on this one. And bam, we got like a purple monster face, right? But because there's so much purple, we're gonna get like a color that works besides purple. Like a dark, no, and blue, it's just too dark. Love saturation, so you're gonna hit that peachy looking color. Uh, there we go. Alright, that's just, it feels funky. Uh, it just feels like I kind of hold it. It's the 3D and the 2D. It's just, it just doesn't feel right. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna turn these off for a sec. We'll release the clipping mask and see what it looks like when we put black, solid black color filters over them. Well, solid color. Or straight for black, all the way black. Creative clipping mask. If I like this more, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the hue saturation. I like that a lot more. And just, I just like that a lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and ditch the hue saturation filters. I don't know why to just go ahead and just dump hit hit the garbage can button, but no. Yeah. All right, we got our visual effects set up. However, the canvas is a little bit too much right there, so we're going to go ahead and go to image, canvas size, um, pixels, I'm going to click right here, we're going to reduce the width by like 20 pixels. 80, proceed, you know, not enough, so we're going to do it again, we'll do 20 more pixels. Proceed, eh, 20 more pixels, just because. And if we like it, we'll keep it. If not, we'll undo it with the undo option. Oops, cancel. I think I caught that. Proceed. And there we go. You know, I actually like that a lot. So now we got to get some visual effects in there, which we will do in the next episode. Oh, like, comment, fav um, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, any resources, I'll give the link below. And, or website link below and um yeah uh, and the support is really appreciated guys bye